we are the dead. Short days ago, we lived. Felt dawn, saw sunset glow. Loved him more long, and now we lie in Flanders field. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high, if ye break faith with us who die. We shall not sleep, for poppies grow in Flanders field. Uh, fourth, first day of spring, maybe the fifth. Hopefully, it'll be spring forever, for real. Um, if you're like me, when you get up in the morning, you like to turn on the news before you go to work. That is, if you've been lucky enough to keep your job during these hard economic times. Uh, in any case, if you are like me and you do watch the news, you've learned about the three R's in politics lately, from. Uh, Recounts of Supreme Court elections, recalls of some of our state elected officials, and of course, the governor's repair bill, um, which has certainly created a lot of divisiveness in this great state of ours. This morning, though, when I turned on the news, I was happy to see that uh, the news was filled of a different three R's. And those R's were remember, remember, and remember. And that's what today is about, to remember those who fought and those who died that allowed us to come here today. Part of the, uh, one of the stories I hear in the news is the uh, controversy of some of the damage that was done up at the state capitol building uh, with some of the protesting that took place up there. And uh, some of the dollar figures that were thrown out way on the high end, way on the low end, nobody seemed to uh, come to an agreement on how much, what the price was of some of these demonstrations. Well, I'm here to tell you today that I can tell you what the price was of, of a capital being open like that for those of us to go up there and, and share our opinions and voice our opinions. And that price is those men and women in those graves with those flags hanging over them today. That price is paid for what those crosses and that Star of David represent over there. And it's paid for in blood, blood by those who've served bravely, not by dollars, not by elected officials, not by people taking one side or the other and complaining, but by those who were brave enough to give their lives so that all of us were can be lucky enough to take those sides and to have our opinions and most importantly to voice those opinions. One of the things I'd like to remember today is uh, I was very lucky about five years ago I heard a, uh, a middle recipient uh, by the name of Al Lynch, and of course, for those of you that don't know, the Medal of Honor is uh, is our, our nation's greatest award for those who've served. Um, one of only around 100 who are living today. And he shared with the, with the crowd of middle school students at the uh, ceremony I was at that he uh, was really a big fan of movies, and one of his favorite movies was Saving Private Ryan, uh, which he went into the story, which I'm sure most of us have seen by now. Um, talking about this elderly man walking down the beach with his family behind him at, uh, at back when he visited Normandy, France. And he started remembering all the events that took place. And of course the movie covered the uh, D-Day landing at uh, Omaha Beach and uh, went on to show some of, the, some of the story of saving Private Ryan. And uh, of course, after the movie was done, it came back to the modern times to where he had this conversation with with uh, Captain Miller, who was killed in the effort to save his own life. And um, he recalled that Captain Miller, in his dying words to him, told him to earn this. And some 50-some years later, he was there having this conversation with his fallen comrade, trying to explain to him everything that he had done to try to earn what he had uh, earned the fact that his friend had died, and he didn't. And uh, he still didn't seem convinced his wife walked up to him and, and, he, and he begged her to please tell him that, that he was a good man. And of course she told him. And uh, Mr. Lynch, the Medal of Honor recipient who was telling this story, um, told our students that each morning he woke up he had a similar struggle, even to this day and age. He f said that most mornings he woke up and he asked himself every, the question, was it worth it? Was it worth everything he saw, everything he did? everything he gave. 
Was it worth it? And he also confessed that some mornings he didn't always find it easy to say yes. And he struggled with that, with that question every day. And he said the only way he's going to continue to be able to say yes is if the young people, those young, young boys and girls, young men and women that are here in the audience today, that were sitting in those bleachers that day, are going to continue to do their part. And if we as adults are going to continue to bring those young people here as I look in the crowd, you should be very proud of yourselves for doing the right thing as a parent, as an American, and someone who is remembering those who gave. So I think you uh, deserve a big round of applause for bringing your kids out here today. Done by Jackie Ackalor, Kenosha County Chaplain. Thank you, thank you very much, very much. 